I'm Ozzy Griffin and I've tried making this video so many times uh, so I'm gonna bisect it or trisect it, which is good, uh, and basically just pare it down into the essential points. When Not In My Name did a video about uh, mental people with schizophrenia and uh, postnatal depression and general mental illness uh, flipping out and killing their kids and claiming that God made them do it and he said that he wasn't caused by, let's be clear, it was enabled by uh, the poetic language of a religious community that would not question somebody or instantly label them as crazy if they said they heard God. Now, I've already made my point that, you know, religious communities don't tend to endorse uh, people with mental illness or apparent mental illness uh, making crazy threats or promising harm on others. However, I realized that Not In My Name made a very familiar argument, only toned it down. It's the hell argument from uh, modern Christianity. First of all, hell isn't supposed to be about burning and suffering and pain. It's just supposed to be about your inability to see the beauty in life. However, uh, this I've, I've heard this from so many reasonable groups. I mean, uh, the good-natured people who are in favour of the environment, which I have, I have nothing against the environment. I live in it. Uh, the... Atheists who genuinely see the ravages of excessive, uh, unquestioning uh, religion. I don't get that. I don't get that. I mean, if you can't question your faith and question the practices of your faith and the people who lead your faith, well, if things go astray, then you might walk away from that which you really think is valuable. It's just that a lot of fundamentalists will threaten you with something eventually when you're not convinced by their arguments. Christian fundamentalists use the idea that once you're dead, which means there's no coming back and redoing it, uh, you're going to go to a place of suffering and anguish for all eternity. And the environmental lobby say that the environment's going to go nuts and things are going to break down if you don't make pointless restrictions on your life. And then I saw an atheist saying that if you don't get rid of the poetry and beautiful ideas, even if you don't agree with them, of religion and the, and the concept of communing with a higher force, then you're basically going to have, in your lifetime, none of the problems get better like postnatal depression, yada, yada, yada. And I realized that this is... It's the hell argument. It's just toned down, and it's done for one lifetime alone. It is the opposite, in a lot of ways, though, of the infliction of suffering. It is saying that the existing suffering, which, truth be told, out of sight, out of mind for a lot of people. It, that's just how it works. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, I'm just saying that as long as you don't have to look at it all day, you're not as bothered by it. You know it's there, you're just not dealing with it right now. I'm not dealing with terminites right now. However, I know they're out there. And, yeah, when I heard that coming out of an atheist, that's probably what really stuck in my craw, even though I consciously didn't realise it. Now, I realise it.